This is Paul with your friendly review, checking out why Orbeez app has two out of five stars and looking at the web tool. Before we begin, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more material just like this. So why is the app two out of five stars? So you can go download the app from the app store, check it out. When you open it, there's a kind of a basic home screen where you can see it's kind of the dashboard is what they call it. And you can see the name of your Wi-Fi, the password, and you can click and check out your connected devices, which is useful. Uh, one little note though, there's a little button, little eye that you can use to hide your password. I can't get mine to memorize that or remember it. So whenever I set it to hide it and I go back to it later, it shows it right back up there. You can go to your Wi-Fi settings and you can actually change the name of your Wi-Fi. You can change the password, which is a useful tool. You can go and check out your firmware, the model number, all that of your Orbi. And you could actually add a new satellite or do the setup in this app. So it is actually going to cover a lot of people's basic needs. Now people, when they spend this much though on a router, and this mesh network, they want to go in and play with the settings. So that's where we go to the web tool interface. And this is where we get what we really wanted. If you're a techie or someone that digs in the settings and wants to do some extra stuff with it. So under the basic tab, you're going to get basically everything that you saw in the app. And if this is where it stopped, I'm pretty sure people would be very upset with this purchase but you can go over to the advanced tab and that's where you're going to be able to get into the, all the different options. You can go into security and look at just all the different things I'm going to show here. I'm, going to, I'm not going to list them off, but you can see them as they go by under the advanced tabs, under the setup, under administration. There are just so many settings in here and it's what you really come to expect from a company like Netgear. So you can go in there and do your static IP addresses. You can go in there and do your quality of service. You can do your scheduling, you can change your email settings as far as whenever it's gonna give you updates, you can change your firmware, do that updates. Um, there's just a ton of settings in there and it would take too long to go over them. So that is why the app itself has two out of five stars is because people were hoping, I think, for a lot of these settings in that app. The app is so basic that you don't really need to have it. There's not a lot of reasons why you'd want that on your phone other than just the quick setup at the beginning if you didn't have a computer around. So I think that's uh, why it's two out of five stars. I think it's efficient, but it would be great if they did have an app that had all these different settings in it. Although me personally, I would just use the computer anyways. So this has been Paul for your friendly review of Netgear's Orbeez app and web interface, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you watched and you wanna see more. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Orbeez app and web interface in the comments below.